Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Gemini. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, um, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, Gemini, at the heart of the reading, I have the, the stars and I have the mice. Um, so, um, I feel like there's uh you could be feeling somewhat lost maybe not sure about your direction uh you or they because this as well you know this could be their energy as well as yours um this could be that you uh are worried about a wish this um <clears throat> excuse me um You, oh, let me see. You may be feeling very frustrated uh, with these mice. You're looking back at a wish. So it could be that something fell through. Um, maybe something feels like it slipped through your feeling, fingers or slipped away from you. Uh, you may be frustrated because of that. You know, it's like being so close and yet so far. Um you could be worried that something is out of reach uh, for you now. Um, it could be that uh, you are procrastinating on taking a direction. Um, yeah, it, be, uh this could be being influenced by, uh, it's like outside influences are affecting uh, your, your current state of mind when it comes to choosing a direction. This could be like a, a waiting period. I have uh, one mice who looks to the past, the other one looks to the future. So you're worried about <clears throat> about getting something back maybe or worried about a, a decision uh, for the future. Uh, maybe you're looking at uh, the path that you came from. You... You may have released uh, something or walked away from a toxic situation for someone, not everyone, for someone you could have been dealing with a third party or you could have been dealing with somebody uh, who may, may not have been good to you. You may have known this. Perhaps you thought it would change. Uh, or that you you or your or that your love could change this person um, because it felt risky the relationship in itself like uh, I mean they could have been married to somebody else or they could have just been uh, very explosive or very judgmental um, very aggressive sometimes maybe not all the time because sometimes they could come off as a prince charming uh, they could have been somewhat narcissistic. Um, whatever the reason was, you um, <clears throat> you did release this person in the physical. Um, some uh, some information that came in made somebody really upset. Uh, and get really, really mad, angry with the other person, um, and they would have ended this. So it would have ended on a very, on a very angry note. And looking back at it now, uh, there could be some regret for that. Uh, the wheel of fortune is in the reverse. Um, so. 
that knight of of swords energy he's here three times i kind of feel like there's a a state of mind or of being perhaps that needs to change um this person um maybe needs to get to the root of why they are so explosive or why uh, what is making them so angry or what has made them so angry um, because it could you know, like it could go deeper than what they think um, this is like a, they took a risk it's, it's what I keep getting the fire card is here even though it's in reverse, which indicates it's like a cooling off or cooling down period, it was in the upright at some time. So this is really a, a passionate uh, relationship you had with that person. I mean, highly. Mm -hmm. And um, there were very intense uh, emotions uh, surrounding... Uh, this person or surrounding the situation in itself uh, it did in effect feel very risky and um, you could have uh, you could have been playing with fire and um, and what happened was there was an explosion somebody got burned and now this is a cooling off period or somebody's looking at uh what they received or and or what they may yet receive um because they're trying to figure out how to navigate through this energy it's like their world got turned upside down um somebody was released <clears throat> Uh, that that was not good for them or married or, or there was something there that uh, there was deception, risk, uh, something, uh, illusion. The, the moon is here, so they're trying to navigate their way through the through the the wheel of fortune reverse so maybe they're looking for uh they're maybe looking back at the past they're in reflection it is a cooling down period so maybe they're looking back at what happened because that knight of swords is here three times the attack the attack that came quite unexpectedly somebody's guard was down this was some uh because of this, well, this could also indicate a cooling down in the reverse, this Ace of Rods, but typically this card would talk about somebody who had to do a balancing act. It was very risky. This was a door that opened onto the past. So this person, I mean, it could be that this was some type of on-again, off-again relationship, and somebody ended up getting burned or felt they were going to get burned and ended it um this queen of swords she's very guarded um there's some news that has come or and if you don't or have not had that news then this would be coming if it's happening to you um this is news of a very serious nature and requires a response. I feel that if you don't uh, respond to the message because you've got a bit of a grudge against this person if it's happening to you because your heart is guarded, you're trying to guard your heart. Um, this person could just show up at your door because it's like they want an answer to whatever the message is or was that was sent. You, 
yeah, you're remembering, uh, you're remembering this loss. It's like something that slipped through your fingers. You're still holding on to the memories. Um, in fact, you could be, or whoever it is that's in this energy, could be very focused on what happened uh, in the past and thus would be afraid to, uh, to accept this offer. Somebody's trying to make an offer uh, of peace here. These are all very positive cards over here. Somebody, this person is still very much attracted to, to you, if it's happening to you. Um, somebody is going to make a move. They're planning their next move. Um, this could be related to that message. If you don't respond, <laughs> you're going to receive another one is what they're telling me. So if you don't respond to this message, they're not going to they're not going to give up. They are going to persevere. This person is very stubborn. I have the Taurus uh, energy over here and this is a this can be somebody who uh, they're not going to give up. I feel like um they feel like you guys belong. Um, the direction they desire to take is to close the distance between you. So you will be uh, getting this message. And if you don't respond, you will get another. You're not trusting it. Because maybe you are the one who felt you got burned. So whoever felt they got burned is not quite trusting the other person. This person wants to come in and explain. They are, uh, they may have done something that they need to own up to. And if they did, they will do it at this time here in the future. So they want to come in and explain something to you. They want to restore the balance They want to speak a truth to you. This person is going to uh, tell you something and whatever it is they're telling you, they are very honest about it. They may be giving an apology for having hurt you. It seems... It seems like you both were hurt in this ending. Um, they owe you an explanation of some kind because that's what I'm getting. They need to explain something to you. And I feel like if you're not responding to their messages, they're just going to keep at it until, until you do. And I think that you should respond to their message. Yeah. I feel like you might be surprised by what this person has to tell you. There's a mountain here. It is an obstacle, but this person wants to work past this. Um, I feel like this person uh, had to learn the hard way um, looking back at, at what they've lost or, uh, well, they're hoping to get you back, but I mean, um, there's been a great loss for them here. Uh, in this period, they have learned a lot. And um, I think they want to come back and tell you this or show you this in some way. Um, they want to talk about the obstacle. And, uh, and then we have this clover, the heart, and the bridge. 
and the clover is about healing it is about a new opportunity it's some type of surprise so whatever they they whatever they're going to tell you or part of what they're going to tell you will surprise you the clover makes things better and it is followed up by the heart so this is some good luck that is coming to you in love but you must it's almost like with the bridge you need to take action on it okay don't uh, don't carry that chip on your shoulder uh, try to be a little more open-minded and forgiving and uh, at least until you have all the facts okay and that's what they're going to give you here and so this is the bridge and the bridge can be a meeting place it can also help close the distance or close the gap between you and another and bring you back together it is a very very good card to get it talks about reconciliation solutions overcoming obstacles there's your obstacle this bridge is saying that you are definitely going to overcome this obstacle this bridge is appearing here to assist you in getting to the desired destination all you have to do the only thing that you have to do is respond to the message be willing to hear them out be willing to listen not just with your head but also with your heart because the heart is here this is a love that is deep and lasting especially especially that it is uh, in between the clover and the bridge and so um, I think that what seemed uh, to be very negative in the beginning actually uh, turns into something very positive in the end and lessons have been learned that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you bye for now